Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a quick little singles reading. So this is for who's coming towards you. We're just going to see what's coming up. This could resonate at any time in May. Who's coming towards you? First, the sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Happy birthday. So this is for singles. Really, it is. I mean, if you're a couple, then who's coming towards you? I mean, I don't think you need to be watching this video. Unless you need to get out of a relationship and you don't have the balls to do so. I mean, hey, what can I say? But this is for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who is coming towards you? Singles. Queen of Swords. Uh, you need to make a decision. You need to be optimistic. You need to make a decision and stick with it. You need to take on this energy of assertiveness. You know, you, you've got to be honest with yourself. You've got to be truthful with yourself. Um... Maybe you need to cut somebody out. Maybe you're holding on to something. Maybe you're you're holding on to a relationship that isn't meant for you and you need to cut it out. Four of Cups. Not interested. You may not be interested in something. I mean, it's like there's an offer of love and you're probably thinking about it. Maybe you don't want it. Maybe you don't want it anymore. Maybe something has happened and you're just like, nah, I don't want this. It isn't meant to be. It isn't meant to be, you know, there's not a happy relationship here. There's, there's, there could be, um, some feuding going on and you're standing in your power. You're, you got the power in your hands. So remember that, you know, look at the crown. Queen of cups reversed. You may not be, uh, emotionally available at this time. I mean, maybe you're not. Maybe right now you're you're feeling like you need to protect yourself. Um, if you are the male watching this, you may have, be dealing with a woman who is, you know, she's got her guard up. She is, she may be hurt, okay? Um, her over relationship that didn't work out. You guys have to make that choice. You, this, you're at that crossroads right now. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You have an opportunity to move into a new place, to step over the edge. To It's like you have the whole world in your hands. Now you have an opportunity to move forward or stay where you're at. Some of you are. You may be holding on to a... incompatible situation you know you may be still bitter about it um, you still could be hurting about it I mean who's coming towards you I think that you are probably you may receive an offer from somebody but you may be like you know I'm not sure I'm not sure if I want this because uh, there's there's so many options here you are in the process right now or you will be in the process of making a choice. Do you want to stay where you're at or do you want to move forward? Do you want to accept an offer? I think that you probably will receive an offer from somebody, but you have to choose whether you want it or not. Do you really want to move forward with this or not? Um, seven of Swords. Strength. And Knight of Swords reversed. So I feel as though you're probably in protection mode. You're probably in protection mode. You may, be, you may be pushing people away. You may have several offers, honestly. You may have several offers on the table, and you're just like, you know, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that really hurt you in the past. You know, this is, this is a deceitful situation. We got somebody here that um, may not have your best intentions at heart and they may be heading in your direction for maybe they see your stability they see your security um they see your 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 beauty they see your grace they see your strength maybe they 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 feel like um
They want to build with you, but the fact of the matter is this person is untrustworthy. I think that you would, this is an untrustworthy individual right here. You may have an untrustworthy individual who is very sneaky and shady, and maybe they got something, I don't know, they may, they may, they, they may have another person. Be careful. This is be careful. Be careful. You, 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 you may um, need to find your inner strength to restrain yourself from making a, a impulsive decision because it feels like you're going to receive an offer from somebody that hurt you, honestly. I think it's somebody that hurt you and I feel like you probably realize that you have multiple options. You know, this is a great big world here. So I feel like you probably realize you have a lot of options. And you're probably going to receive an offer from somebody. This is it. With that you probably don't want. Okay, you don't want this offer. I mean, that's, that's what this is. It's like, no, I, I, have, I have possibilities. I have options, you know. And I feel like you, you're going to be faced with making a decision as to whether you want this this love connection or not. I think there's probably incompatibility here or there's been some arguments with this person. There's been some sort of argument or feud with this person. You know who this person is. I feel like you do. I think there could be another person, okay? There could be two people here. Whoever you're dealing with may be in a relationship with another person or, you know, they may be committed to another person and they're very sneaky. They're very sneaky. They 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 hurt people. This is a very hurtful individual, and you probably need the strength and the confidence, you know, to restrain yourself. Know your worth. Know your worth, Taurus, because you're worth something stable. You're worth something solid. You're worth something long term. I feel like you really need to open your eyes to this situation and uh, be honest and forthright. You may, you may put your guard up. I think that you probably will. You probably are going to put your guard up and say, you know, I don't want this. I don't want this. I have, I have possibilities elsewhere. So I feel like you guys are probably um, going to receive an offer from somebody that you don't want. This person has probably hurt you already. They've lied to you or they've deceived you or something like that. Like that. Okay, there's probably another another person. If you are the male watching this, you probably have to make a choice between two people. There is a choice between two people here. Definitely there is. Um, if you are the female, though, I think it's you. I think that you are probably emotional, very, very emotional at this time because you have to make a, a decision and stick to it at this point. You have to be assertive. You have to be wise. You have to use your inner wisdom you know, and, and know your worth. So don't forget what you're worth. I feel like you are going to receive an opportunity from somebody that hurt you. All right. I'm sorry to say that, but I think that's what it is. Um, do I see any success here? <laughs> right now, I think that you're, you, you need to work on your own stability. You need to work on your own uh, abundance. You need to, you need to, maybe you need to heal. Maybe you are healing. Maybe you're healing from this unhappy relationship. And maybe you just don't want, you don't, you don't want love right now. It's like there's healing going on here. So you may go be going through a period of healing and you're not ready to, you don't want a partnership. You don't, you don't want this. I just feel like you don't want this. Whatever it is, it feels like you, you don't want it. You don't want it. You, you realize that, you know, there are other fish in the sea. So... Um, this is, this is somebody who is, is very independent. I can take care of myself, you know, there's emotions involved. Yes. I mean, it's emotional. It's an emotional time. And, but you know, I, I, I'm not going to be deceived and lied to whatever. So we're just going to get a couple more cards. Oh, now it's reversed. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles holding on. Oh, somebody is going to hold on, though. Somebody is going to, wants to hold on to you. You're you're trying to push them away. They're gonna they're gonna fight. They may want to fight for you. But I don't think you're gonna accept it. I think that it's too late. I do think it's too late. You're probably like you know what? I'm not gonna deal with a player. You probably do have somebody who is a player. 
somebody who is not stable, somebody that doesn't have integrity, that, you know, doesn't have anything real to offer. It's a dead end, and you may see it as a dead end. So I feel like you're going to receive an offer from somebody that you are no longer interested in or you're not interested in. They're not well suited for you. I'm, I'm sorry, but I think that's what this is. Um, and I think that you're probably, you know, you're the queen. You're, you're the queen. If you're the female, you're the queen and you know it. So you know it. That is, you know it. So I think you're probably going to be rejecting. You probably are going to be rejecting an offer because you don't see it as stable. You've been lied to. You don't want to be played. Judgment call. Yep, you're wide awake. You're going to be making a judgment call. This is releasing. So I think that you, somebody that you know is going to want another chance. They're probably going to ask for another chance. I don't know who this is. There's, there's a multiple options here. I mean, it could be anybody. Somebody that deceived you and lied to you in the past is probably going to ask for another chance. They are holding on because you have released. They're holding on. You are going to, I think you're going to release it. I think you're going to make that judgment call. I think that you are wide awake. I feel like you realize that this is nothing stable, solid, and secure. So, yeah, I feel like this month, you know, there is probably going to be a, an opportunity to maybe reconcile with somebody that you had an argument with, a fight with. You know, there's been some disagreements made you really emotional, but now you're in the Queen of Swords mode, right? You're just like, huh, no. Don't come any closer. I mean, that's what she is. She's just like, no. She's been hurt so many times that, you know, she's gone a little bit cold. So I feel like you guys are probably going to be rejecting an offer. You're probably going to make that judgment call that, you know, this isn't stable. This isn't solid. It's nothing. This is a dead end. So, Taurus, that's what I see. I don't feel like we have anything long-term coming in for you, unfortunately. Even though that Ten of Pentacles is there, I think it's the end. I do. I think it's the end of putting in any kind of effort, you know, I think that I, you know, it's at the end of you cheating yourself of what you deserve, um, finding your self-worth and your confidence and your self-esteem to restrain yourself from it's almost like a player. It's like you're dealing with a player here. So I see you, you make it, restraining yourself and saying, nope, this isn't what I want. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I think that whoever you're dealing with is very controlling. And they probably they probably think they're going to come in and take back control of the situation. But I see you as being very guarded. Very, very guarded. Um, and I don't think you're going to accept. I don't think you are going to accept. I think you're going to decide to be by yourself. I'm fine. On my own, I, I don't I don't need this. Drama. I don't need this drama. So I feel like you guys are gonna reject. I think that you're gonna you're gonna reject any offers that come in in the near future because you don't see anything stable. That's what I see. Good luck.